I'm Karn Joshi, and this is PHOX Fox News, coming straight out of Compton. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I just woke up. Our first headline today, Kim Jong-un has finally fired a missile. Unfortunately, there was no X component associated with this launch. In other news, Johnny Manziel, who had a week of shame, played so badly against the Cincinnati Bengals that it looks like he's going to have to relearn his kinematic formulas. And now we cut to Johnny Manziel. We had him live at a press call. Today? Uh, well, I'm just a rookie, so sometimes uh, I'll admit it, I forget my kinematic formulas just to calculate how fast my players are running down the field, and uh, this all just happens in the heat of the moment. Why is that? Well, uh, I lost my physics notebook with all my formulas in it, and uh, I'll admit it, uh, I have a suspicion that my friend uh, Hoyer over here uh, took it just to make me look bad, you know, just playing a prank on me. All in good fun, though. Can you explain the large number of sacks against you in the first quarter? Uh, well, my defensive line wasn't pushing with enough force, obviously. All I have to do is memorize one equation, F equals MA, and I'm out here busting my butt knot using full trajectory formulas like T equals 2V over G and X equals V sub X times T. How do you respond to people's complaints about your uh, foul mouth? Well, uh, to be honest, I think their blame is kind of misplaced. Uh, in order for what I say to be to be a, like a sound, the air has to oscillate and their ear has to receive it. It's not my fault that a medium carried my sound and they heard it. This will be the last question. Uh, what do you think your chances of going to the playoffs are? Well, if you just want me to be honest and blatant here, uh, I think our chances are falling around its center of mass at about a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. Thank you. Breaking news. This is Justin. We have located the missing Malaysian airliner MH370 in the backyard of physics students Malik Sala and Roger Solanke. On the scene, we have our seasoned reporter, Chet Ibechi. Mom back, mom back, mom back, uh, that fun up. We're here live at the Malaysian Airline Wreckage. It has recently been discovered in a residential Canfield neighborhood backyard. Now, skeptics are wondering, and conspiracy theorists, what happened here? Let's go investigate a little bit more. We, we found the wreckage! They're survivors, let's go! Oh, I believe this is the pilot. Please, I'm very near death. I need medical care. Sir, I asked you for your name. If you could just comply for a little bit, that'd be great. Jordan Evans Kaplan Michael Smith Johnson Rodriguez. Sir, so how did all of this happen? Uh, was was there a UFO induction? Was there was there Obama involved in any way? Well, I was texting while flying, and then all of a sudden I heard a sound with a relative high intensity. When I looked back, I saw the engine was on fire. Next thing I knew, Bruno Leaf principle wasn't applying, and I was in a half trajectory problem. Sir, it really makes me wonder, if you've been out here for so long, why haven't you called for help? Well, I've been trying to, but my phone flew out of my pocket due to inertia and has just been a few inches out of reach. And lastly, how, how did all these other people not survive? What, how, what did you do to survive? Well, I was able to use my co-pilot, Fat Mav, as a human shield. His size caused the force to be distributed over a greater period of time. 
And I think that about wraps up what we need to see here today. So let's get out of here. It's really cold and dirty. Let's go. See you, Jordan. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. More to come after this commercial break. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using ladies scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamond. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. If your racing thoughts keep you awake, sleep is here on the wings of Lunesta. And if you wake up often in the middle of the night, rest is here on the wings of Lunesta. For people who just woke up, Lunesta. I hope you enjoyed our show tonight. We hope to see you right back here again on PHOX Fox News. But before we go, we have a sneak peek of tonight's episode of The Big Bang Theory. Howard, no offense, but you're never going to get your astronaut license if you can't even memorize your simple kinematic equations like the rest of us have. Honestly, no offense, but I don't even think he has the mental capacity to get an astronaut's license like me. Hello? Hey, you remember section 7, subsection B of the roommate agreement. You may not talk to others on the phone while I am speaking. <laughs> okay, Sheldon. Anyways, like I was saying, I bet I could get my astronaut's license way before you. Anyways, you don't even have a driver's license. Didn't you get in an accident last week with your mom? Well, yeah, but I was in a high school parking lot. The girl hit me going like 45 miles an hour. Luckily, I was wearing my inertial restraining device. That's some good impact physics there. <laughs> but I guarantee that I could get my astronaut's license before you of all people, you neurotic Princeton piece of... <laughs> Uh, Howard, come on! You're never gonna pass your physical portion of the exams with those kind of times. You need to have more power so you can do more work in a shorter amount of time. Rosh, be nice to Howard. He's really trying hard. <laughs> Is that what you consider a pun? Bazinga! I am livid right now. What now, Sheldon? <laughs> I got one question wrong on that astronaut evaluation, and it resulted in me getting a 99%. That's the lowest grade I've had since kindergarten. And it was all because that stupid testing facility was 74 degrees, which made sound propagate better, making the sound of the clock ticking next to me extremely distracting. So you don't have any room to complain. You got your astronaut license, but you're still too crazy and scared to drive to work. <laughs> Oh my god! What? 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 What's happening? My colleague Dr. Karan Joshi just tweeted that him and Pedro Debs finally started taking notes in their physics class! This is amazing! What a great show. Alright, we hope to see you here next week on PHOX Fox News, coming straight out of Compton. And on next, and on next week's show, we have... Oh, is that the bell? principal stopped applying and I was in a half trajectory problem. Sir, what what happened to all these other I <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Steven over there going like <laughs> Mom back. Mom back. Guys, you can't be talking, you're dead. <laughs> <clears throat> Breaking news. This just got in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You won't even have the mental capacity to get a driver's license. I swear. Hey, remember? <laughs> I swear. No offense, but I don't even think you'll have the mental capacity to get your astronaut's license. Hello? 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Memorize simple kinematic equations. Raj is the thesis! Subsection B of the roommate agreement, Leonard. Remember, you cannot talk to others right. while I'm Cut. talking. Max! Max! That was no Sorry, I was- I was so uh, Why would you say that was time? Not good. Why would you say time? First of all, you were laughing too. Okay, Sheldon. Anyways, like I was saying, I def- I def- <laughs> Sheldon. I got a 99% on that phys- Wait, that's not physics that's fun. <laughs> My PhD. And it was all because the testing facility was 74 degrees, which caused sound to prop- Did that camera just turn off? Yeah. <laughs> Why did it turn off? Isn't it supposed to be recorded right now? What the heck? Isn't that supposed to turn off while it's recording? Oh, man.